The children of Mandalore are stricken with a mysterious illness, and Padme and Satine get to the bottom of it. We watched Corruption for our Clone Wars chronological rewatch, so now it's time to break it all down. Staying neutral in the Clone Wars, Mandalore requires a black market to receive food and other supplies. With the rules already bent, a group of smugglers find it easier to turn a profit by diluting their tea with a potentially toxic substance. When Mandalorian children fall ill, Satine and Padme investigate the problem and shut it down, exposing corrupt officials along the way. The theme of this episode is the challenge of hope is to overcome corruption. This is like kind of a thinker. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, uh, so what I get out of it is that corruption can, first of all, just feel like something very difficult to overcome. I mean, if you look at... Uh, any political climate, really, you see corruption here and there, and it seems like, how, how do you handle that? Yeah, because it, it, seem, it seems like something unattainable, or something that you yourself can't do anything about. Right, because like the rich and powerful have more resources to stay rich and powerful, and uh, not everyone else has that. So how do you fight it? And I don't think this episode is so much about fighting corruption, or at least the theme isn't. But I think it's just saying that first and foremost, you have to believe that things can be better. Yeah. You, you can't just accept it. Yeah, I mean, hope is always in Star Wars. It's always being talked about. And like you said, in our own political climate now, a lot of people start to lose hope because both sides, all the sides are just grim. <laughs> yeah, it seems like people just don't have faith in either side of the government anymore. Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, well, let's just dive in. Like, one side is doing some corrupt, horrible things, and the other side, it seems like, aren't doing things about it at least as fast enough as we would like them to. Yeah, and we need people to keep hope alive so that eventually things will get better. Yeah, and I think ultimately it comes down to... Uh, and this is going to touch on what we'll talk about next week in the Academy, but it comes down to people banding together and also future generations. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times the, the younger, more ideal ones can spark change. Yeah. Before wrapping up, let's go over some of the random pieces of trivia from the episode. The tall, pharaoh-looking aliens are called Mugans. The two politicians shown bickering in the episode are Mandalore's Minister of Finance and Minister of the Interior. You can see some cube-shaped food from Mandalore meant to harken back to their cubist inspiration. According to the script for the episode, the doctor's name is Zack Zaz. The bottles of tea say Arties on them, which was the drink Obi-Wan was originally going to order in Attack of the Clones at Dex's diner until it was changed to Jawa Juice. You can also find those facts on StarWars.com's episode guides, and they're currently doing a rewatch on their website as well if you want to check that out. I'll put a link in the description to all the episodes listed out chronologically, but that's it for today. Next week, we'll watch Season 3, Episode 6, The Academy, if you want to watch along. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.